AI will pretty much touch everything we do. It's more likely to be correct and grounded in reality. Talk to the AI about how to do better. Tell me when you see something that makes sound. What is that part of the speaker called? Do you remember where you saw my glasses? Yes, I do. Your glasses were on the desk near a red apple. Industry giants are vying so hard for the top spot in innovation and user experience. And now Google has unveiled a game-changing new player, Project Astra. This cutting-edge AI assistant is Google's response to OpenAI's ChatGPT 4.0, and it promises to redefine the way we interact with the world around us. With its unique multimodal approach, Astra is set to usher in a new era of immersive, intuitive artificial intelligence. But don't take my word for it. Let's uncover all that there is to it. What is Project Astra? Project Astra is a cutting-edge AI solution that represents a major advancement in the field of artificial intelligence. With its versatile capabilities, Astra can process and respond to a wide range of real-time queries across multiple media formats, including text, video, images, and speech. Powered by sophisticated algorithms, Astra draws on a wealth of information from both online sources and the user's physical environment as captured by their smartphone camera. This seamless integration of digital and real-world data enables Astra to deliver relevant and timely results, enhancing the user experience and making it a powerful tool for navigating today's information-rich world. Utilizing a unique methodology, Project Astra encodes video frames and speech inputs into a coherent timeline, facilitating seamless recall and response. Essentially, it mimics human perception by observing, interpreting, and memorizing its surroundings, even when objects have shifted out of the camera's view. This innovation draws on the enhanced capabilities of Gemini Ultra, an advanced AI model developed by Google to rival the technology underpinning ChatGPT since March 2023. Gemini, just like OpenAI's GPT-4.0, boasts multimodal functionality, enabling it to adeptly process audio, images, video, and text data thereby revolutionizing generative AI. The competition between Google and OpenAI in adopting this technology brings in a new era in AI development, departing from reliance on text-based models to embrace multimodal systems. Previously, AI breakthroughs predominantly stemmed from models confined to textual data, necessitating supplementary frameworks to incorporate image or audio features. In a pre-launch interview, Hasabis, a key figure behind Project Astra, emphasize the transitional nature of text-only chatbots, envisioning them as a stepping stone toward more sophisticated AI assistance. He revealed Gemini's overarching goal of integrating diverse modalities to enhance AI's utility and efficacy in aiding users. Astra's strength stems from its unique ability to blend multiple forms of media, allowing users to engage with AI in a highly intuitive and natural way. By combining online resources with real-time data from the world around us, Astra delivers an unparalleled experience, offering instant access to a wealth of information and real-time analysis like never before. The technology driving Project Astra is the result of extensive research and development in artificial intelligence. Astra bridges the divide between digital and physical realms, offering a system that adapts and evolves. This continuous improvement ensures an increasingly seamless and enhanced user experience, transforming the way we engage with AI in our daily lives. But here's the thing, a common concern with AI systems that interact with our environment is the potential inconvenience of constantly using smartphone cameras. Google has addressed this challenge with remarkable ingenuity by demonstrating Astra's capability to function with smart glasses. This innovative approach not only alleviates the concern, but also highlights Astra's adaptability to different user needs and preferences. By integrating with various devices, such as smart glasses, Astra breaks free from the constraints of smartphone-exclusive technology. This expansion in accessibility offers users a tailored experience, seamlessly integrating AI into their daily lives without compromising convenience or comfort. Conventional virtual assistants primarily depended on information sourced from the web and user directives to execute tasks. However, Project Astra represents a significant departure from this model by actively learning from its surroundings, much like a human assistant would. Astra's ability to observe, assimilate, and understand the world around you 
elevates the user experience to new heights, mirroring the effectiveness of human-assisted support. By moving beyond traditional web-derived data, Astra sets a new standard for AI interaction. Its dynamic approach fosters continuous learning and growth, enabling the AI to better understand and adapt to your needs. What Project Astra can do for you? Project Astra offers a remarkable array of capabilities designed to streamline and enhance various aspects of daily life. In a captivating demonstration by Google, an employee utilizes Astra on their smartphone to effortlessly identify and explain the function of a specific component of a speaker. Within seconds, Astra provides a comprehensive explanation, mirroring the conversational tone of a human assistant. Impressively, it also discerns the user's geographical location, accurately pinpointing them to London, merely from a brief glimpse out of the window. But hold on, Astra's capabilities extend far beyond its impressive demonstrations. Its practical applications have the potential to significantly impact everyday experiences, making life easier and more efficient. For example, in a large parking lot, Astra can serve as a reliable guide to help you locate your car. By providing Astra with information on your parking spot, it can lead you directly back to your vehicle, saving time and eliminating the stress of searching through rows of cars. Also, Astra can assist with various tasks in different environments, such as helping you find specific items in a grocery store or providing information on nearby restaurants and businesses. Astra's utility goes beyond everyday tasks, offering assistance in more specialized fields, such as programming and creativity. When faced with a confusing piece of code, Astra can analyze it and help decipher its purpose, facilitating troubleshooting and overall understanding. This functionality makes Astra an invaluable tool for programmers and developers, streamlining their workflow and increasing productivity. Furthermore, Astra can be an asset to artists and creators. Imagine witnessing a breathtaking sunset along the coastline, inspiring a surge of poetic inclination. With Project Astra, you need not grapple with writer's block. It can craft a heartfelt poem inspired by the scenic vista, infusing your words with eloquence and sentiment. Comparison with OpenAI's ChatGPT. While Google introduced Astra, OpenAI unveiled a new version of ChatGPT powered by GPT-40, capable of conversing via voice and describing visual content. These innovations strive to create more immersive AI experiences, mimicking human emotions and responses like surprise or flirtatiousness. While these advancements are remarkable, their real-world implications and practical uses across different environments remain uncertain. As both companies continue to push the boundaries of AI interaction, we can expect further enhancements in user experience and engagement. However, the true impact and potential applications of these technologies in various settings will only become evident as they evolve and become more integrated into our daily lives. Determining which model is superior requires hands-on experience with their full capabilities. While Google presented Astra through a carefully crafted video, and OpenAI provided a live demonstration of GPT-40, both presentations were likely tailored to specific tasks. The true test of these models will be their ability to adapt to various user requirements when they are widely available. As both companies have controlled the testing environments, the real-world performance of Astra and GPT-40 remains uncertain. It is only when these models are put to the test in diverse, uncontrolled settings that their actual capabilities will become apparent. For now, we eagerly await the opportunity to witness how these AI systems perform when faced with the diverse demands of everyday users. But then, comparing OpenAI's GPT-40 with Google's Astra, both exhibit similar ease of use. GPT-40 excels in audio tasks, showcasing realistic voices, conversational flow, and even musical abilities. But we also notice that Astra demonstrates advanced visual capabilities, such as remembering object locations. OpenAI's quicker rollout may initially grant it more widespread usage, whereas Google's full availability is slated for later this year. Assessing which model generates fewer false responses or offers more utility requires further evaluation. Regarding safety, both OpenAI and Google assert rigorous testing. GPT-40 was extensively evaluated by more than 70 experts in various fields, while Google highlights the comprehensive safety assessments undertaken for Gemini, including checks for bias and toxicity. 
Despite these efforts, skepticism about the reliability and accuracy of AI systems is warranted as they continue to curate and analyze massive volumes of data. While both companies are working to address safety concerns, maintaining a cautious approach to AI development and deployment is essential to ensure that these systems are responsible and beneficial for users. Multimodal AI growth. Google plans to release Project Astra via a new interface called Gemini Live later this year. However, the company is still in the process of testing various prototype smart glasses and has not yet decided on their launch. Astra's capabilities could potentially pave the way for a revival of Google's Glass smart glasses. Although previous attempts to develop hardware suitable for generative AI have faced challenges. Despite the impressive demonstrations by OpenAI and Google, multimodal models still struggle to fully comprehend the physical world and the objects within it. This limitation may constrain their potential applications and functionalities. According to Brendan Lake, an associate professor at New York University, building a comprehensive understanding of the physical environment is crucial for developing more human-like intelligence. Lake emphasizes that current AI models primarily rely on text-based learning sourced from books in the internet, which differs significantly from how humans acquire language through interactions with their surroundings. This disparity highlights a need to reevaluate the approach to creating multimodal AI models, which currently lack a nuanced understanding of real-world contexts. Demis Hassabis, co-founder of DeepMind and leader of Google's AI efforts, has revealed the importance of enhancing AI models with a deeper comprehension of the physical world. He believes that integrating insights from diverse AI research areas, such as game-playing algorithms developed by DeepMind, could contribute to advancing multimodal AI systems like Project Astra. Additionally, these advancements hold the potential for revolutionizing fields like robotics, aligning with Google's broader investment in robotics technology. Hasabis envisions a future where AI systems evolve toward artificial general intelligence, AGI, capable of performing tasks across a wide range of domains akin to human capabilities. While acknowledging that current efforts represent only the initial steps toward this goal, he remains optimistic about the transformative potential of multimodal AI. However, he clarifies that achieving AGI remains a distant prospect with substantial technological advancements required to approach human-level intelligence. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.